Hello everyone, welcome to Tough Tube. What's up? Let's talk about the MTV VMAs 2022 Stars Review. This year's ceremony was held in New Jersey and as was expected, many artists showed up. Some of their looks were stunning as was expected, while some of them showed up with controversial looks, while the opposite was anticipated from them. I'm not gonna waste the time, so let's check on several notable outfits of this year's VMAs. Please stay with me and watch the video till the end, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. I start with Lizzo since she was the first one to attend the VMA's black carpet. This outfit of hers is from Jean-Paul Gaultier's Spring-Summer 2022 Couture Collection. The piece is designed by Glenn Martens as he was the guest designer of this season of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Couture Show. It's daring to show up wearing such a dress as it's an artistic, stunning showstopper in some beliefs and a garbage bag in some others' opinions. She chose a dramatic look while proving how brave she is. The gown is strapless while its puffy feature covers her whole body plus ribbons more. I wonder who sat next to her. Imagine watching her from upwards. It kinda seems like she's a flower but placed in between the leaves. This puff is fully applied 360 degrees around her body and I'm speechless about the design part of it. I'm not gonna say I love it nor do I hate it, but the wrinkles surely can be controversial. The only reason they can lead this gown to a sloppy look is the texture of the the fabric and the wrinkles. While this fabric selection is the best choice to create such a finishing to this look. She paired her outfit with the same color transparent opera gloves and hey, the accessories she completed her style with and also her makeup is second to none. I'm pretty sure about the perfection of this combination with the whole look. The next one is Lily Reinhardt in a black dress from Fendi Spring Summer 2022 Ready to Wear collection. The dress is lace embroidered with a halter neck detail and keyhole neckline. The black lips patterns on the transparent long sleeves are so cute and made a unique signature to this look. Also, there is this additional feature added to it as a halter neck and is pulled over draping to down creating an extra layer from the dress. To be honest, I love the dress, the design, the features and the finishing are perfect, but I'm not sure that is the best option for Lily. The fitting is not precise and it seems like the sleeves are too long for her, which resulted in a mishmash look. As you see in this look, the sleeves are already long for the model as well, while Lily wore the dress as she's lost in it. I wish there was a reissue or some customization, because I believe that both Lily and this dress got wasted. As I explained, the dress is excellent and eye-catching in terms of design and finishing, and Lily herself is so amazing that she is expected to look her best. The next one is Anita who showed up in a red look from the Scaparelli Fall Winter 2022 Couture Collection. I already made a whole review of this couture collection and talked specifically about this red dress in another post. If you're interested, you can check it on my channel. I put the link in the description and also the card section. It's interesting that Anita chose to wear the most iconic look of the Scaparelli collection, especially with the iconic pendants. It's attached to the breast and a red spaghetti strap is holding it, while it is embellished with shiny stones. And as you see, it is placed at her left breast to symbolize the heart arteries. The fitting on her is so good that I can confess it suits her more than the runway model. This look can be reminiscent of Lil Kim's 2013 VMAs outfit. While I'm not a big fan of that purple look from her, I'd rather think that Anita wanted to appear with a surreal yet stylish look. The next one is Taylor Swift that showed up at the VMAs in a look from Oscar de la Renta while looking so different. Well, to be honest, I got a little surprised by seeing her appearing in such a look. The dress itself is well designed. The crystals, the pendants and implementations are done to result in a dazzling look. Of course, it's not something new. And as a confession, our eyes are used to seeing such glittery looks worn by celebrities. First of all, if you showed me this dress and said who do you think will wear it to the ceremony, Taylor would probably be the last person I would guess. And secondly, the fitting of the dress is not at its best for Taylor. This dress should either be maxi or even shorter than this so that her upper body doesn't look too long. As a result, this look can be seen in the photos as if Taylor's height is a little short. Or maybe her posing. I wish she would pose a little better on makeup for this defect. I'm not sure about her shoes as well. I think there could have been much, much better options. It's admirable that Taylor decided to go with a different look than her past styles at this year's event. But I think there could have been a lot more to make this look as flawless as possible. 
The next one is Ashley Graham in this black dress from the label Houghton. I think I have to confess that this body from Ashley after giving birth is so admirable. You rock girl! The dress with symmetrical cutouts at the upper part and asymmetrical in the waist part made the result like you cannot stop watching it. It's like just implemented to embrace her body. The safety pins attached to the dress kinda remind me of Versace, but whatever. The fitting at the torso is perfectly done and there is nothing to complain about. The skirt is like a fitted column dress, like the fabric is wrapped around her legs. I wish there were some dramatic finishings here. A little effort in creating a better image from the lower part. The bottom kind of stole the spotlight of the bodies and it has kind of taken away its stylishness. There were several ways to solve this issue, like adjusting the height of the skirt, like changing the image of the skirt to one that is chicly draped to the down, or even maybe a rethinking of fabric selection. The next one is Dixie D'Amelio in a black look from Alexander Bouthy. Just by looking at the dress, you can conclude this was the wrong selection for her. The dress itself is chic, the sequins are glittering and attract attention, the whole turtleneck is just well done, and the crossing fabrics at the waist resulted in a rouge detail are stunning to the eye. I mean, everything about this gown is perfect, but I'd rather see someone else wearing it. Like Adele, Beyonce, JLo, or even Dua Lipa. This is not the dress issue. The matter is the wearer of it. According to Dixie's body type, the concept of dress is completely wrongly depicted. Dixie's torso is seen as too long, and as a result, it makes us think that there is something wrong with both her dress and herself. If the features on the waist of the dress were slightly customized and pulled higher a bit for her, or if there were some adjustments regarding the fitting, the problem of this look would be solved. However, personally, after a long time, I've seen her appear in a maxi dress, so I wish that she would at least be seen in her best style. Even if you have the best body and wear a bad dress, a wrong image will be created. And in the same way, if you wear the best dress but it doesn't suit your body type, you will end up in a mistaken look. The next one is Chloe Bailey in this silver look from Zygma. The combination of the corset bodies with the symmetrical design and the thigh-high slit bottom is amazing. Also, one side of the torso has this off-shoulder detail that is draped from the back. The oblique fabrics draping in the opposite direction to each other at the waist is the spice up to the look. The corset took it to another level by being applied with the combination of the main fabric and transparent detail, while the sequins made it glittery in all aspects. The metal straps that are added in the design part of the corset create created a nightlight look also. The dress is perfectly fitted to her, and although there are lots of details here to engage the eyes, all of them together created harmony with each other and resulted in the right look. The next one is Sofia Carson in a black look from Carolina Herrera Resort 2023. The reason I love this dress is that it kinda gives a sacred vibe. Also, I have to confess that at first glance I thought maybe it was from Scaparelli. From the silhouette, from the engagement of the hood with the dress, also the concept, you know? That was kinda surprising for me to see it's from Carolina Herrera, but whatever, it's amazing. I'm glad to see that the balance has been perfectly observed between the bottom and the torso. The dress is literally a simple black skirt while having a show-stopping feature at the upper part. I'm not sure what do you think, but this is absolutely my cup of tea. The way that the hood is implemented on the breast is creative and there is no way to complain about it. By wearing enough accessories, she also observed the balance and overall, I believe this look really needed to be seen at this ceremony. The next one is Ava Max that showed up on the black carpet in this attention-grabbing green color ensemble from Copernic. The original look has a longer skirt with a different image. While the body's design has kept its features, a different design has been made for the skirt and she is wearing a mini with additional fabric tied from one side of her waist that is also draped down. The only detail that is observed in this skirt like the original version is the maroon buckle that is attached to the left side of her waist. The stunning feature of the long sleeve top is the cutouts resulting from the crossing twisted fabrics at the breast part that I wish she had a proper hairdo so we could enjoy watching it. Now this hairstyle just stole the spotlight of the torso. The ensemble is neatly done and is well matched with her. The pumps could have been something else. These ones also are drawing too much attention in a wrong way. 
Last but not least is Blackpink that showed up at the VMAs 2022 in black looks. Rose appeared in this mini dress from YSL. The first thing that I can say caught my eye was that her dress was kinda different from the other three, and I wish there was harmony regarding their looks. I'm not expecting a uniform or a vocal group dress code, at least a bond of unity. She wore a simple mini with long sleeves, and the only unique feature of her look is a decorated black rose with a fabric draped down. I guess the result was going to be a dramatic mini, while on some points, it's as if the weight of the flower is heavy for the dress and pulls it down, eventually creating wrinkles that may seem like the dress is falling down her body. Jenny appeared in this ensemble from Chanel, the cutout crop top with a low waist skirt. The star pins and the wrinkles resulted from the implementation at the middle front of the crop top and the halter neck detail took the simplicity of the crop top. While the skirt has this V-form waistband, from the geometric point of view, there is an eye-catching harmony between both the torso and the bottom. As we are getting used to seeing low waist pants and skirts again these days, I'm not gonna complain about the skirt. The silhouette suits her and the whole ensemble is acceptable for Jenny, while I'm hesitant of Chanel. Jisoo appeared in a look from Dior as was expected. She wore this fitted dress with spaghetti straps with this net like embroidery at the torso. Also the black flower in the middle front of her body is a good symbol to present with her squad at this event. Actually, this harmony that her dress has with roses created a good balance as they all stood one in between with the flower symbol feature from Rose and Jisoo and without it from Jenny and Lisa. Her skirt with flowers print and A-line silhouette perfectly match her and a narrow belt is added to her style, accentuating her outfit and emphasizing Dior. Maybe the fabric combination between the top and the skirt could have had other options, like a more formal skirt or a fabric with a simpler pattern. Lisa appeared in a look from Celine and as she showed up in a long dramatic outfit, her ensemble features a long train top and pants. The long sweeping bodice kept the balance regarding its height and image, while wearing pants is in contrast with others. She settled for a simple black fabric outfit and her style focuses more on being stylish. The ensemble is chic, is different, is dramatic, and is giving the vibe at the same time. Let's not forget to mention the long necklace she completed her style with. Thank you so much for watching this video, I'd be so glad to know what is your opinion. What do you think of these outfits? Were they successful in showing up at their finest or not? Please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to see more content like this. So, see you soon.